Hello there, and welcome to a breakdown of one of the most powerful weapons produced by one of the most pacifistic races of the Stargate franchise, the Tolden, the manufacturers of the Ion Cannon Planetary Defense System. Just a single one of these guns could destroy a Goa'uld mothership, an impressive feat by any standards at the time. But before we get started, if you like this video or any others that I've been making, would you please like, share and subscribe? With that out of the way, let's get started. The Tolan Ion Cannon is a surface-to-space planetary defense system. Each cannon, independently capable of protecting an area of the planet against any orbital attack by most enemies of the Tolan people. In the case of the Goa'uld, just one or two shots in this weapon is capable of destroying an entire Hatak class warship. The Weapons themselves have a range of 730,000 meters and fire a charged particle stream from the ground to orbit. They are also capable of shorter range, lower powered bursts at a more rapid rate of fire, capable of hitting vessels such as gliders or other small craft that have entered the atmosphere and are attempting to incapacitate the weapon or attack other targets. Once activated, the weapon is fully automated and will track and destroy targets independently, but is capable of being controlled manually from a small control panel on the side of the weapon. It's powered primarily from the Tolan power grid and seems to lack an independent power source separate to this. It also doesn't have any secondary defense systems such as a shield or any additional shorter range weapons. The Tolans themselves are not a passive people, but they're not stupid. And although they seem to lack what you would consider to be a standing army, they don't lack the practicality of knowing that there are threats in the galaxy and that those threats need to be challenged in order to maintain their way of life. But that said, without a standing army, they don't have soldiers in place to actually guard these weapons, which did on one occasion allow the Goa'uld to mark these weapons for orbital attack for, so they could be simultaneously incapacitated so that they couldn't fire on the attacking Hatak. Luckily for the Tolan, the presence of some of the people from Earth and an alien from a race called the Nox who had the ability to render one of the weapons invisible and therefore undetectable to the Goa'uld so it could not be marked did so and allowed the planet to still maintain a defense system of at least a limited degree of just a single cannon but that with the sheer power of this weapon was all that it took to adequately defend the world against the attacking Goa World vessel. The weapons would later be rendered effectively useless against the Goa World with the resurgence of the system lord Anubis who returned with much more powerful and advanced technology than that which was wielded traditionally by the other Goa World system lords which included intensive upgrades to the shields of his vessels which were capable now of withstanding attack from all the weapons of the Tolan being fired at it. Meaning that another defense system would be needed and although the weapons would still be effective against the other Goa'uld, Anubis was poised to take control of the entire empire and just a single Goa'uld having the ability to get past their defenses was more than enough incentive for the Tolan to worry. The Tolan would at first be seemingly developing a new weapon system to defend against this new threat posed by Anubis. However, it would be revealed that actually Anubis was threatening the Tolan in order to circumvent the Protected Planet's treaty and attack Earth on his behalf, as he was still fearful of the Asgard and what the repercussions of him launching such an attack might be at this time. The Tolan developed a weapon capable of penetrating the defences of Earth's Stargate. However, once the weapon was developed, the Tolan would change their minds about attacking Earth, considering such an act to be dishonourable, and they would face death before dishonour, effectively, and stick close to their ally. This was the last we heard of the Tolan within the Stargate universe. Whether any of them survived the ensuing attack, by Anubis's forces is unknown whether they were able to use any of the new weapons they developed to fight Earth against him is, as I said, unknown. Attempts to redial the planet were unsuccessful, and as far as we know, no subsequent vessels ever made any journeys to the Tolan homeworld, and no Tolan vessels 
were ever encountered or seen away from the planet. The Tolan were known to have had hyperspace capability, although it was presumably limited, as a Tolan once stated it would have taken over a year for one of their ships to reach Earth, whereas a Goa'uld vessel could do that trip in considerably less time, so despite the differences of technology between the Goa'uld and the Tolan, clearly the Goa'uld had put more emphasis on propulsion and the Tolan presumably had put greater emphasis on defences and other maybe less essential technologies to the Goa world, like medicine, or at least less harmful versions of it than the sarcophagi. Well, that's all we've got time for with this video. I don't want it to run on for too long. If you enjoyed it again, please like, share, and subscribe, and please check out my other channel, Nerd World Films. There'll be another video going up on that channel soon as well, in the next couple of days. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe over there too if you like it. It's a slightly more specialized channel than this one, focusing more on movies. And with that, we're done. So, bye-bye.